Galaxy Flex. Your boy, you see next how that mag and shoddy work. Can't rid this smell with bath and body works. It's sad and probably worse. First, the chroma spit. Wise guys do drive bys and don't own the whip. Time comes, divine sons need a song to rip. Thugs and harmony, cool. I got a phone to pick. Vlogs, battles, music videos, interviews, and much more. Pushing the culture forward. No Mercy TV. Yo, what's good, y'all? No Mercy. Trap New York shit. No Mercy TV dot com. You know what time it is, man. This has got to be the most corny, lame, retarded, like, I don't even know how y'all calling this shit a podcast. Fresh and fit? What? Wor the worst. The worst. The worst podcast I've ever come across. So, um, I've never watched this podcast before, right? I always only see when they go viral and uh, they have shit going on where they're kicking people out of their interviews. They have... Uh, Academics damn near about to get clapped in one of the interviews, you know, that kind of stuff, right? So that's what I know it for. I don't have any type of like I'm I'm not, you know, watching it. I just see it come across my timeline every once in a while. So I see the Asian dog clip, right? How they was treating them, you know, kept telling them to shut up and you know, whatever they were saying, which it's cool. If you have your podcast, you have your way that you operate certain things. I get it. But at the same time, when you have a certain energy towards women, I think it's weird Like to get extra aggressive with women. Like, bro, it's a podcast. If you invite 10 people on a podcast, people are going to be having their own side conversation. It's just part of having a crowd and you know stuff like that. You expect to invite 10 women somewhere and... It's just going to be super quiet like they're women. You understand? Like, it's just like, it is what it is. So, um, I seen that, uh, he, he, uh, she called him mean and, you know, he just went off on a whole tangent and tirade, which unnecessary to me. If a female calls you mean, it's not the end of the world. Right. So, she winds up leaving, you know, she not feeling the vibe. I completely get it. And I'm, you know, I see this clip posted on Twitter, right? So I'm going through the replies and I'm seeing other clips starting to pop up. Another clip that pops up. I never used that one, bro. What about the black dating app called Black? <laughs> oh, it's funny. I never used that one, bro. But oh, hey, man. man. <laughs> I mean, hey, bro, if you want to date a bunch of Shaniquas, go for it, man. LaQuisha. I, yeah, like I, me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown nah, like that. Man. We ain't night Riders. Nah, so bro, I'm good. Uh, you know, sometimes if they're, you know, red bone, but like in general, me and Fresh uh, don't dabble in the dark, if you know what I'm saying. Yep. Uh, OK. Is of them just completely disrespecting black women, right? Just saying stuff like, oh, we not down with the brown. We don't mess with night Riders. What? Y'all are two black men with a podcast talking crazy about black women. Now, if niggas have their preferences, that's one thing. But when niggas talk crazy like that, oh, nah. Oh, nah. We don't need those type of platforms around, especially podcasts like that, that they're going viral every other weekend. I'm pretty sure people are supporting whether it's they subscribing to something, these guys are probably getting paid. The shit looks professional. But when you're using a platform like that to just straight up down black women, ain't no apology or nothing that can be issued to retract statements like that. And then when you have women on the platform and you're treating them the same way you say that you feel about them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm nah. That that's the lamest podcast ever. Any of y'all niggas that watch that shit, that support that shit, nah. Nah. That's weird territory for me. That's weird territory. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's just corny when we supposed to be using podcasts to, like, create the create discussion, um, have dope topics, have interviews, let people talk, get their point across, et cetera, et cetera. Like, even stuff as far as preferences, because 
listen, when we on social media, we see women state their preferences all the time. People, women always say, yo, I don't want a broke nigga. I don't want nigga doing this, nigga doing that, blah, blah, blah. I really don't care about that shit. I'm not trying to fuck none of these females that's on social media. So me personally, I don't get caught up in the whole preferences thing. People allowed to have whatever preferences they want. But when you publicly state those preferences and when it comes with disrespect or downing a particular group of people, that's when it's a problem. That's when it's like, what is that for? Like, who who hurt you? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, what traumatic experiences in your life have pushed you to a point where you don't want people of a certain race and you're publicly stating it, but it's backed by being insulting or, you know, being disrespectful. It's just like, I'll never get it. And to see two black men do it on a, on a, on a podcast, like on a platform, like get on camera, get on mics, record it, put it out to the public as if like that shit is some, like that's something that you should be promoting. I find it weird. I find it weird. And the, the the podcast in general, like even when I watch the academics interview, like they ask trash questions. They don't even know how to properly conduct interviews. Like even with um, you wanting people to be quiet, there's a certain way you could do it on a podcast without like interrupting the podcast just to say, hey, can you shut like you understand what I'm saying? Like that whole they hold shit is just horrible. You understand? Like, no. Those ain't people that need that need to have a podcast. So my personal opinion, get both of them clowns the fuck out of here. They both are donkey. We don't have to come up with a term that we use on these blogs, um, like a donkey of the day or something like that. They did bozo of the day. You understand? Or bozo of a lifetime. Because me, here's the thing, right? You say donkey of the day, you basically giving the person the, you know, award for being the asshole of the day. But it's like, there's certain stuff I feel you can't come back from. You feel me? So for me, it can't just be other day. You got to be like the bozo of a lifetime. Like these niggas would get the bozo of a lifetime award. You understand? Just because like that kind of shit going on your platform and night riders. What? Nah, nah. Get them niggas out of here, man. Get them niggas out of here. Whoever's sponsoring that, whoever's investing or whatever, get them out of here too. You feel me? Because if you will sponsor that and you'll put money into letting the platform like that be built that promotes that kind of message, imagine what other type of stuff they're willing to invest into. That's just my thoughts on that. Let me know what y'all think in the comments and I will holla at y'all soon. No mercy. Trap New York shit. MercyTV.com. I know what time it is. Make sure y'all be on the lookout, man. Every Saturday, let's chop this fable. Twitch.tv slash King of the Dot. I'm about to start streaming myself. Twitch.tv slash No Mercy Harlem. And just be on the lookout for everything. But we back in full force. Y'all already know what time it is. I'm out of here.